Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man? Might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because, from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Can't I come with you? Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. 
Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Marlon. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Let's go. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? 
I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Here. <laughs> Looks okay. Everybody in. Figures. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? What about the fuel? Where should I start looking? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it.
The alleyway to the auto shop's down here. You coming or not? Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. This is the place I'm looking for. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Damn, it's jammed tight. Get too close. Leave him. He's mine. Nice to see you. What do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. 
Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? No. It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. So why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. You sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me, or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look around. You do that. I did it. Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally something goes right. It's off. Got that one off. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Move your ass! Great, now what? Skyline. So, now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! I don't know, man. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? Oh, we got it. 
better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God, oh God, oh God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry.
Damn it, we almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it, see what he's got on him. Just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living, if this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please, help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. 
Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Overson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit.